Hello everyone, this is Doom Matt playing another Let's Play of Someone, picking right back off where I left off on the other episode, which I won't see till like two days later, this one, but picking it back over off, hopefully we're done with that creature. I seriously doubt we are. I wanna try to explore everything. Probably gonna die a lot. But you know, let's just get into this. I'm not opening that. At least not at the moment. Can't get into that. That's locked off. Yep, there's no other area to go. Oh, uh, actually, even if I did go in it. Even if there was a way, it's nothing there. Alright, so that's probably gonna trigger something. Kinda of looks very oddly suspicious it's going to. No? Well, it looked like it would. Oh shit, I ran straight into the stupid thing. <laughs> Oh, hi. Did, did I die? What what am I supposed to do? Make it loop around? Is this gonna be like a force chase scene thing? I think it's gonna be a force chase scene. Loop around the stupid crab, then go through the hallway, then up the thing. I bet just what it's gonna be. Unless my game just crashed. Unless that was supposed to happen. I have no idea. I don't know. The screen's all black on me. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay, who are you? Look. What the hell? It's over now. Relax. No, it's not over. You are not actually. Pretty new, like couples do. You don't want me? Yes. Of course, Doctor. What happened? If I don't want you. That doesn't seem right. Where are we? Frame rate dropped like crazy because of that. Uh, it's all he's all disoriented, so it's not. I don't know what the fuck's going. Oh, we're in something. Yeah. Okay, so we're all disoriented. Sorry about that. The elevator finally crashed down. Alright, so we made it past that. That was supposed to happen. This is open. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, it's right in front of me. Right in front of me. So we're back with dealing with this thing.
not entirely sure what our objective is. Nothing I can do with this thing. Kinda wanna say I got myself trapped. And it's coming towards me. What, what it looked like was the Wayu, once it gets you, at least this one. It tries to get in your mind and everything, make you think that that's real. To make you put you in a happy reality, even though it's not real. Unlike what's actually happening, but does that to like control you to get your thoughts to learn more, but to trick you in a way? Kind of like how we did with that one, I think his name was Juan. Or the guy we did in the simulation to get the information to get the key. Kind of the same way, but to trick us to give it what it wants. Just more information, how to find more people and how to trap more people and whatnot. And figure out where everyone is at. And the only reason our character woke up was because the elevator finally fell and broke and that snapped our character Simon out of uh, that fake reality and the only reason I'm staying here is because I got myself in a corner and it sounds like that thing's coming towards me and straight ahead is a dead end this spot might be the only best spot to hide I don't really know. Oh, you're a person. Okay. the wire right there? Is it coming towards me? Okay, it's not. going back Another one of those goopy things. Since the wire is in control, we don't know how much. We don't know how much access this has to control panels and everything, which is why I can open doors and stuff. 
think the way it's coming is where we gotta go. So either you can see and it's gonna kill me right here, or it's strictly by sound. Would you think if it could see me, it would have killed me? Alright, it's going back into the room where we gotta go, which is typical. Follow the monster. Unless that wasn't supposed to happen, it was actually supposed to come out. No, it came back again. Don't go straight. I also don't know how good the sound is for it to hear. So it buys me time in case it can call in the vents. comes again. So basically it comes like a sneaky thing. Just trying to figure out which way it's gonna go. So standing there. I don't know which way you're gonna go on us. Seem to not be able to make up your mind. I have a feeling at some point in the game it's gonna make me have to run. The problem is telling when. Seems like a good hiding spot. Yeah. There's too many uh one way areas. So you're going that way, then you stop. Now you're turning around. This, 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 uh, why I don't know if it's the same concept of sound or if you can see. It does go in pretty far into that room, though. That's locked off.
I know that's gonna make it come towards me. Which is only one way in and out of this room. Come on, show yourself. I got out of this water. But hopefully we're done with that thing, at least for now. I just went on to the nearest ladder possible. Because if anything here in this area of the game, that probably is just gonna be those ball things. And I doubt there should be anything very like spectacular or story wise. Alright, so I gotta get a little sense of where I'm at. So we came down there. There's lots of different ways. I'm not sure which way is the correct way. That'll take us up. And I'll go there. That'll take us up. Maybe the points to go up to that area. That kind of seems like that would be the target area. You just don't want to fall. This fall seems bad. Thinking on the other side. Side, yeah. So I know that thing can't climb. It can go through vents and do things like that. Uh, on this side. And I lean over and pick up on it. I might not be able to do that. Oh, wait. I saw a handle thing come up. There it goes. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, if this is the right area. But at least it gives us like a little breathe room from that thing. Alright. I doubt we're supposed to jump for anything. Oh, nope, oh, that's a ladder. But it doesn't make sense to be jumping around and going through this or that to find out where you're going. And I haven't gotten the loading screen, so I think this is still all theta. This is like a huge area of theta. It makes sense to go that way. Only thing is, I don't know if we're supposed to do something first. That's the issue. Now let's go down this. That's okay, so he gets off on his own. There's this area over here. I think this is the right area. Only makes sense. So, one second, and I'm in a good spot.
So let's get down this ladder. Okay, don't accidentally move too fast. Kind of seems like we need to go there. And I don't think I gotta do anything special. Heck, so there's like a glowy thing there. So I think this whole area is just to get the glows. Which, again, that's gonna be my own playthrough to do. Alright, so let's get in this pipe. Looks like a good chase sequence spot, so I don't know. There's no storage permitted, yada yada. Emergency flush. Alright. Okay. Whoa, got hit by that water. Where are we going? I have no clue where. Oh, hey. Are we finally done with that place? Killed the dream I dreamed. That's interesting. I'm not touching you. Wow. I actually have no idea where we're at. I'm kind of lost. I don't know. Like we only got one way to go, so... I guess that's where we'll go. At least we got done with Theta. I think we're done with Theta. That's, that's a nice scare out thing, but when it drags on that long, having to be sneaky, kind of like kills it. I don't know what this is. Alright, let's find Omicron. Omicron? Okay. We're looking for Omicron. This one does kind of look like those, uh, what do you call it? That, those underwater mines. Uh, there's a, there's a term for them. No. I thought you can touch them. Let me see if they say anything. Power failure. Ooh. Alright, so we're gonna stay on the path for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on these cables. Power failure, power failure. Which is weird. Well, I'm so glad to be done with that spot because it's just I needed a breather. Cause when you do scare things like that, I mean, it'll feel good, they do a lot, but when it's a constant, sneaky, not making noise kind of thing, it's annoying. Like the last episode, I was trying to see if I could trap it, that wasn't something you could do. Kind of sucked you couldn't do that. Is that a goopy thing? Not the goopy thing, what's this thing? Oh, it's one of those things. I'm thinking if I touch that, that might activate those things, because sometimes those draw the power. But... For now, I'm not. That'd be my own thing. Could be wrong, too. Could just be a switch, because there's been cases where I thought that would have been the, the trick, but it wasn't. Okay, so we got some facility here, and that thing over there. Let's go check out this thing first. 
So we got a walkable pathway there. Alright, so let's run to the ladder. Now I might make this one shorter just because the last one was long. Pretty long. I might edit, I might not have edited it. I don't really know what I did. Offline. Got switches here. Manual override. Some kind of manual override. Let's go look up before we touch that. Because. Huh. Can't go up. Okay. Seems like we should do this. So let's do this. Alright, so what's this? Here? You're locked. I'm guessing red means locked. Button, button. Warning. Before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Open valves. Can't do nothing. Now I can do it. I had to push the button. Alright, that's open. That's open. That seemed like a thing. Alright. Everything green. Alright, so now we just do this. Do good? Did I do good? I think I did good. Ah, my chip's not equipped to do that. Oh, it's a dead person up here. I didn't do it. What is that? That looks weird. I don't know. That's how levels been weird. That's all I know. Power failure. A lady. Anything else significant in here? Yeah, I think it's still part of Theta. So if I would have turned off the graphics right now, it wouldn't be that great because Nate, it's just a huge area. Don't know what that is. We won't touch that. Let's just plug this girl. Next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. Trying to figure out how to get into Omicron. It's a big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's that, it? That's it? You got nothing? Really? Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess. Okay. So okay with all this. With what? All right. Being a talking box for one thing, not being human. It's not so bad. Looks like this is just so, one of those puzzles I gotta get through. Not having a body. I was about to touch that. There. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable. So that's how much power I got. This isn't much worse. No. Not being able to move will freak me out. But so it gives me two team. ways there. Oh fuck, that scared the shit out of me. 
Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Okay, so this way. Why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think you could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Ah, failed. Humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. With restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Uh-huh. I don't want to hit that because I don't want to interrupt their little talk and story. Cause that, that was interesting. I found it very interesting. And, and, uh, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figure there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. Mm-hmm. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. Not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Any more story before I flick this? Because I don't want to like push to it because I like carrying out dialogue. Kind of feeds more into all this. Into how Simon's doing, into how Catherine's doing, and what she thinks. Seems like that, that might be all the dialogue for now, so... Alright, just flip it. Oh, the terminal just lit up. Alright. Uber, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming critical. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. I feel like my head is about to explode. You can do that stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, uh, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing. I must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here huh? it is. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom is data. I'm not touching his head. That seems like a bad idea. Quarantine. Oh, it's gonna make me. There has me. to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Mmm. Don't want to touch the person's head. Oh, the terminal's up over here. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. I asked a why. I'm not touching that third one. I'm gonna call him status. It's all people offline. System update. Time stamp 2098. 10. Of all nine. Note, updated enable black box, feel safe. CRTH for Carthage implemented. 2099, standard X4B extension. 2099, area calibrated for ACR. 2103, diagnostic tool for post sympathetic contingency plan. Temp validate pressure. Why? 2103, Savoy. 
Note, stealth need to be made crane work all up Allen. 2104 NSA security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't buy. Not touching that. There has to be something here. That tells me the four digit code. Maybe even going in that person's head. Because that seemed like that would have been the Y. Seriously doubt I should click this thing. It doesn't seem like I should click that. What are you connected to? That might screw up the generator if I touch that thing. Oh, uh, I got this person. They don't give me static, so they might be safe. Alright. Paper somewhere. Is that paper? Or am I thinking of paper? Not paper. Because what I'm, what I'm having a theory is if I touch the panel, it might give me that, but then it kind of goes towards the Y, letting me know where I'm at. I mean, maybe that is the option to do, anyways. But kind of thinking, what if this is Morse code? I'm not looking up the code. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. But I just want to see. What's the Morse code for numbers? Uh, it doesn't look to be Morse code. It looks just like a static. Which it sucks because that would be neat if you did that it'll give you like the the um the code that way if you can solve it that way that that, that would have been really neat because You'd have to pay attention and figure out how many beeps or this or that. That 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 would have been neat. I would have liked that. Well, it also could be. Also could be that. So. Oh, is that is that an option? Cause I wrote it down. It only gives me three things. I doubt that's it. Ah. Uh.
So I'm not really sure. I don't want to touch that screen because it just seems like a trap. And I don't like that. But it kind of worries me because I don't want to touch that thing. But I don't know what to do. Because the other option is to touch the gooey thing, and I said I wouldn't touch the gooey thing because it just seems like I will go down one ending of a path, which if I go down that path, I'd rather go down as an evil person than a good person. So, you guys go touch it. Six, eight, six, six. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do we get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Accessible. Oh, I'm retracted to the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Yeah. It was forced. It was a forced thing. That sucks. I didn't see this ladder here. Let's explore this ladder. I wonder if the code was up here if I didn't have to touch that thing. I mean, I know what the code is now, but... Doesn't make a difference, really, but I never know. It's also kind of weird. This is a thing. What is this? Adam Ashley has ordered Con to date as soon as possible. Urgent relayed from Jay Strominar. Gask, I tried to figure out what it was about, but. They wouldn't tell me anything. All I know is they asked if you were missing. Or if you were dead, something must have freaked them out. Think you better do as they tell you, Herbie. Alright, so that, that's if y'all can't read that. That's what that says. Huh. That's interesting. Oh. That's a delayed jump. I didn't... Stupid character. I clicked jump before I even clicked on the stupid ladder. Alright. So, those are like the why who wants us to go into Omnicron. Which just looks like things are just picking up more and more. Alright, so how do I do this? Oh, now we got access. Alright, yeah, let the water fill up. Waiting for the next check save point so I can end the episode. Also, hopefully we get a new loading screen so that we can potentially pop the graphics back up. Because I kinda miss having them up how up I had them. Alright. Oh yeah, look, speaking of save point. Uh, I sure it's not perfect. So I'm on the end of the episode here. So it looks like on the next episode, I'm going to pick up that going into Omnicron. Which Omnicron isn't that far from the end of the game. So we're getting close to the end of the game now. But I hope you're enjoying the series. Sorry it's taking so long. and But I hope you're still enjoying it either way. So thank you so much everyone. And I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone.